And welcome back to Leo's Space Procrastinates, where we were heading towards the Night Galaxy train. Where it's a train. Oh, we get a free feather at the start of the level. Let's do it. Go. So some sort of custom design graphics. Oh, it's more than just custom design graphics because it's... Oh, and you can slip through the trains. That's moderately saddening. I like the background. Where's it? It looks like it's from like the Kirby game. Kirby, what do you call it? The SNES version of the Kirby whatever. Oh, and we're losing trains because the knife, not knife, saw thing kind of shaved off half the entire train. Which in essence is actually quite bad because, well, if a simple knife can, if a simple, if a simple one of those can end up destroying your train, then that's pretty bad. Especially, but now it's getting quite hard. So best to be not failing, but you know how hard that is for me to do. So now we're down only to the engine train. Literally. Oh, that's it? That's a very short level. And the background keeps on going because, well, why have the background stop? Chomp Chomp Panic 2. Ooh, everything's like huge. That's awesome. I love when everything's huge and I can't break through that because I'm not large enough. Hold on, let's... Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we fail it, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, how did I shoot both at the same... And you apparently you can't pick them up, because... Why would you be able to do that? This... The Super Mario 3. Darn it, sprite, limit, graphics, whatever. There we go. We got a star man. Now I could... Their feet are glowing into the beat that I am. Midway, and we get a feather. Oh, God. There's a giant chomp chomp, and he's trying to kill us. More than that, can we spin jump on him? Of course we can't. That would make the level too easy. So he's literally just destroying the floor from underneath us. Even though he doesn't even bother to move his mouth, he just holds his he just holds his mouth slightly open and everything just falls into it. Even if it violently smashes against the roof of his mouth and teeth and whatever, who cares? It's a giant chomp chomp, so. It, it literally has Chomp in its name, and maybe I shouldn't have done that. So run as fast as we can, because we're going to be massacred by that giant Chomp Chomp. Even though he's not chomping anything at that moment, he was still making the chomping noises. That's a good quality Chomp Chomper. Gives the false impression that you're eating, and... Literally so close, but no. There we go. So now let's cross the goal. Where does that go? Careful! Lightning! So let's be careful because there's lightning here. That lightning, as in that probably kills you violently. I don't want to be shocked to death. Even the silver balls kill you. And don't even bother to get the help, because why do that? Just a mushroom? Well, I mean, there's no real choice when you get hurt. 
you lose the ability to have anything other than a simple mushroom. Thank God I got the blue switch, otherwise I would have died. Okay, what's in here? Timed. And go. Oh well. At least I have my mushroom. Now I have a feather. And feathers are awesome. You can basically fly through the entire level with a feather. Except in this case where there's no real necessary use for a feather. And over there, I have no clue. We probably want whatever's in here, and that's a fire flower. And here's a door. Hmm. That left wall is kind of jacked up. Whatever. Oh, we're supposed to enter the purple one. And what's who? What's this? It's it's a bunch of circles. Wait, that's Megman style. Oh God, what is this? This is I Man. I truly don't know its name. And he's pretty intense. basically got crushed to death right there. Maybe you should give a little bit more leeway. But that's probably asking for too much. So, just go... No, let's go like that. There we go. And there goes a... Look, I could use against him. He drops a brick. Which is good. How many hits does he take? I'm gonna guess three. Wow, this truly is one of the harder bosses in this entire game. Concentration. Darn it. Ah. Ah. I'm assuming that we can't just walk into him. That's obvious, right? Wait, no, it isn't. We literally can just walk into him. Well, don't I feel special? If only I had an extra hit. And three hits and he's dead. Let's continue onward. Okay, so it's basically a run and... Run as fast as you can, otherwise you'll die. A bunch of starmen in a row, quite. So, run or die, your choice. Um, you want me to fly here? Okay, well, flying it. Right into the pipe, and what's in here? Fire, fire. We're lighting the fire as we go along. Hmm. Who is it? It's... Giant red. Is it supposed to be red? I don't think it's supposed to be red. Okay, well, giant red. Chomp, chomp. Now it's black. It's like... There was a little glitch there. Darn it. So we're just supposed to kill it and fire it. So... Oh, we have to time it for him smashing to the ground. Two... It's crying. And it fades away. Oh, I made it cry. Such a sad ending. Next time, 
The future of UFOs. And yes, I did say UFOs. See you then.